What's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Trev here, spread love free market, economic justice activist here fighting for community. And I'm here with a bonus bonus episode of our podcast. I I usually don't come on with bonus episodes, but I thought this one uh, was um, this was a good reason to come on. And uh, before we get started, I just want to talk about Hello Neighbor. Neighbors connecting neighbors, connecting community. This is neighbors looking out for neighbors. So scan the code right there. If you want to help support us on our open collective page. Um, so Oliver Anthony, rich man north of Richmond, was a video that was sent to me by a friend. And a little bit of background. I am an economic activist, have been fighting uh, to shift the flow of wealth from going to Wall Street and trickling down to us for pennies on the dollar to where community supports community, where we work against capitalism, where we work for supporting each other. We spread love. We spread support. And this is what I've been fighting for for the last three years. Originally from Brooklyn, New York City, I'm now living in Florida where I continue to fight. So anyway, not to belabor that point, because this is a bonus episode, and I really just want to get into this clip. Oliver Anthony, Richmond, north of Richmond. I was sent this video with a, uh, a, a message that you need to, well, with a message that I want to hear how you feel, sent by a, a, a friend of mine, a, a white friend, who has his own activism uh, we don't speak as much ever since you know to be honest ever since the pandemic and uh, the black lives matter you know we just haven't been on the same wavelength i'm fighting for one thing and you know it's it's tough so to hear from him and to have him send me this video i was really curious to see what it is and why would he reach out to me and um I really trust his opinion. I really respect him, and we've been dear friends for a long time, but not uh, connecting in terms of politics over the past three years. So, anyway, so let's play the video, and uh, I'll, as I do, I will see you all on the other side. Well, I've been selling my soul, working all day, overtime hours. For bullshit pay So I can sit out here And waste my life away Drag back home And drown my troubles away It's a damn shame What the world's gotten to For people like me People like you Wish I could just wake up And it not be true But it is Oh it is Living in the new world With an home So, first of all, that voice, that pain, he is expressing something that's deep. He's got a great voice. I love the, uh, the minimal, you know, not overdone. It's just a, uh, a guitar and him, the background, all of it is just, it's authentic. It's not even an attempt at being authentic. It is authentic. And at first note, it really connects, you know, it's, you know, we talk about uh, gospel music and how uh, gospel is a way in which uh, people express pain. Um, specifically, uh, I connect with uh, the pain from the gospel, you know, the civil rights movement, the gospel from uh, before that, from Jim Crow and going way back, slavery. This is how we spoke. And everybody has that pain in them and it's a matter of connecting and 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 expressing that so 
he's got that. He's got that. And, you know, good music is good music. And the message is on point, 100% on point. I really want to listen to the words uh, over again. And we just starting. Um, but, um, yeah, it's economic injustice. It's the rich men of rich men. Anyway, let's, let's play on. I don't want to. I really want to hear the rest of this. I wish politicians would look out for miners and not just miners on an island somewhere. Lord, we got folks in the street, ain't got nothing to eat, and the whole beast milking welfare. Well, God, if you're five foot three and you're 300 pounds, taxes ought not to pay for your bags of fudge drowns. Young men are putting themselves six feet in the ground. Cause all this damn country does is keep on kicking them down Lord, it's a damn shame What the world's gotten to For people like me People like you mm. Wish I could Amen just to that. wake Amen up And it to not that. be The country, you know, doesn't look out for its people It seems to be working It even seems to be You guys know me and my, my activism you know, preaching that it's the 1% that really controls the purse strings. It's the 1% that controls the lobbyist. They're taking more and more. The wealth gap is, is expanding. Every generation is, has a little bit less than before. And this speaks to that. It is truth to power. And yeah, I'll be honest. I looked at the initial clip of this video and it's, you know, it's a, uh, a, a white guy with a banjo in rural uh, Virginia. And I'm, I, I came down here from Brooklyn, New York City, and to Florida. And there's a lot of places that, that you know, it's like, you know, it's not what you would see in New York. And so when I saw this, I'm like, you know, the, my black antenna went up like, oh, boy, here we go. Um, but I know because of my experience that there's a connection that we have regardless of race where, you know, we all are being divided. We all are suffering from the same uh, capitalist narrative that's meant to distract us from holding those in power accountable. So, yeah, let's go. Let's hear the rest. Lord, it's a damn shame. What the world's gotten to for people like me, people like you. Wish I could just wake up and it not be true, but it is. Oh, it is. Living in the new world with an old soul. These rich men know the rich men. You do, and then mm. uh -uh. the the surveillance. You know, I got off of Instagram. I'm trying to get off of. I got off of Facebook, and you know, right now I'm I'm left with YouTube, and even that, even watching this very video, you know, ads are popping up. You know, it's an attention farm. It's monetizing our attention, surveilling us. It's why, you know, look at the, the everywhere you go, here's an ad that's coming at you. And where's it going? It's going to big tech, Silicon Valley. They are monetizing our attention. This is why I really am trying to unplug and get off the grid and meet in the real world. One on one, hello neighbor, connect. Hello neighbor. You may you may not have a lot, you know. I don't have a lot. I I, I spoke about. Uh, I'm on a hundred dollars a month, and I'm finding a way to connect because of community. I may not have a lot, but I find a way to give to somebody that has a little bit less. If we can create a model like that of community, and it's hard. It's hard. It's hard to unplug. You know, I'm recording this with an iPhone. Money going to, again to shareholders and big tech. And, but you have to be strong and 
work together. There are people out there in this fight. The truth is being revealed. And Oliver Anthony is, you know, let's see where this goes. It's, it's, it's an anthem of sorts. You know, I've got to say it's an anthem of sorts. And um, let's, let's listen on. I don't think you know, but I know that you do. Cause your dollar ain't shit, and it's tax to no hen. Cause the red men, no, the oh, red men. This is the message that I really believe in. We're talking about the dollar, fiat currency. When we went from a one on one trade, and now we are, every dollar we make, it goes to the shareholders. The dollar is worth less. The taxation, I mean, the tax part, listen, there's, there's parts of it that are worse than others. But getting off this reliance on money is something that we are talking about. This is why trading, paying it forward, free shops, mutualism, getting away from banks and all of this stuff. And they they don't want us to hear this message. What he is speaking is truth to power. But it can't be done. We can't envision a world in which we are not sending our power in dollars. Our power. Every time you spend a dollar, every time you make an order on Amazon, every time you go to a, 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 a chain grocery, a Walmart, we are literally giving up our power Buy local, support local. We may not have as much as the 1%, but look out for your brother. If you have $100, if you made $100 this week, pay it forward to a neighbor that's made $10 this week. It's a mindset. Once we shift our mindset, we start to shift the flow of wealth into community, keep our own power. We can make decisions that are from community, from your neighbors. Get to know your neighbors. Oh, I mean, this is just truth. Reds men, North Reds men. I've been selling my soul. Working all day, overtime hours for bullshit pay. Yeah, there you go. Oliver Anthony Richmond, north of Richmond. Thank you to my friend for sending me that. That was some truth to power, fighting for economic justice for the past three years you know, in the streets, on a mic. I, I take my mic out and I'm there screaming on the mic, wake up, wake up, everybody. We need to know we, where we are sending our power. To hear Oliver Anthony, and there's a saying I want to, that I quote, one of my more, one of the quotes that I really love to repeat, the role of the artist is to make revolution irresistible. And that's a quote by Tony Kata Bambara. And this is that. This is making the revolution irresistible through art. And uh, big ups to Oliver Anthony. This is a message. The, the rich men, North of Richmond, I have to listen to it again because I want to dissect every word and break it down. Um, there's some things that I didn't quite catch on to. Um, there's some things I, I'm not aware of. There's something about an island and the miners and mining. Um, what I what brought, what came to mind for me was uh, crypto and that old scam, you know, on taking stuff offshore and you know, basically a pyramid scheme for the wealthy. You know, if if you have any uh, new technology that's not benefiting the man in the street, then I, uh, you know. What does it mean to me? This AI is the next, the next thing, 
And um, this is not what we need. We don't need AI. We don't need things to get more efficient so that they can create more wealth off of our backs, off of the exportation of us. You know, if we were aware and we kept the money in community, that $15 an hour would be $100 an hour. We should all be living, reaping the fruits of our labor and not having it be exploited. So... Oliver Anthony, um, the rich man, not the rich man. Also, um, my friend, and it sounds like a lot of people um, from reading the comments, uh, this is D.C. for them, uh, Washington, D.C., which is you know, completely, it's not off. But I just wanted to make a, a mention that it's deeper than that. Um, the politicians, they are controlled by the wealth and the capital so when you go north of richmond don't stop at dc head on straight up to wall street because that is where the source of this all starts politicians are getting uh, controlled by lobbyists and they affect legislation we no longer have a voice they have a voice so when you hear rich men north of richmond don't stop at dc go straight to wall street hold them accountable and this can be there can be a change just based on your attention if we all got off the internet tomorrow and stopped looking at instagram ads and stopped tiktok ads and if we all did that and just paid attention to each other that's where it will stop we could monetize our own attention for the for the benefit of the community that's what the free shop is about. This is what Hello Neighbor is about. Free groceries, free lunches for our neighbors. So don't think it's hopeless. There are people working on this. And um, I appreciate Oliver Anthony for uh, putting this out there. So there we have it. Oliver Anthony, rich men, not the rich men. I love it. I love the voice. I love the whole authenticity I love the dogs even, you know, I love the beard. Yeah, Oliver, I'm going with that beard, yeah, the whole deal. So remember, y'all, we are in this together. It's the 99%. We need to not buy into these narratives of division. We need to embrace and hold on to our power. And if you can trace the dollar, the circulation of where your dollar goes to Silicon Valley, or to Wall Street, be aware. And instead of going to Walmart, go to the local hardware store. Instead of going uh, to Publix, go to the local grocery. If you're in New York, go to your bodega. I know it's hard, it ain't easy. Again, I'm here shooting this on an iPhone. But we can make small steps, and then when we get opportunities to make the big ones, those collective small steps have added up. So... Thank you, bonus episode. Uh, once again, uh, scan the code, uh, how you can support community. We have Friday chats right now uh, that we're starting this Friday where we can organize for community and just scan the code or go to spreadlovefreemarket.com. And if you are in need of groceries or lunches and you are in the Spring Hill, Florida area, then go online order your free item, and meet us at Miguel's, and we'll see you there. All right, that's it for me, Trev. Thank you for joining us today. Thank you for sending me this video, and I will see you all next time.